and the Claremont Lounge bloody. More has happened to me than any stripper ever, ever, ever. And I am just ecstatic that it happened to me. Why me, I wonder. I hear you're a legend in this city. That's what they say. Blondie is an Atlanta icon. A lot of the gay community sees her as their Tina Turner. She had her own reputation, her own style, unlike any other dancer. Blondie is the example that you can still use your sexuality well into your older years. She, by her own words, was the first colored girl to work in a biker bar. Blondie is always on spot. Blondie loves to court the fame, but I don't really see her courting the fortune. I won't make as much money as my name. Hey, it ain't for free. There will be a gap between stripping and social security. Blondie writes poetry. Let me read some of Blondie's work. Her poetic side was also what made Blondie special. I wanted to marry this man, even though he was gay. I'm afraid that she lives in pillow talk land. I think that's how through her celibacy she's getting her job. Her body doesn't support her as much as it used to. She's truly become the facade she has created. It is sad to see someone who was so fun-loving be so worried. The clock's ticking. 32 years. It's a long time. We all learn from our mistakes and we can't change our past. I'm happy where I am. I really am. I'm really happy. And this is my life now. And I accept it. <laughs>